I love vintage style, but finding real vintage jewelry can be difficult and expensive. This tutorial, sponsored by favecrafts.com, will show you how to make earrings that have great retro flair. To make these cherry bombshell earrings, first cut two lengths of green floral wire to about 6 inches in length. Bend the wire in the middle a bit, then thread it through the loop on a fish hook earring. Twist the wire near the loop, and continue twisting a few more times. Pinch the top of the wire with pliers to tighten. Then, thread a leaf bead through one end of the wire and twist a couple more times. Tug on both ends of the wire to tighten the twist. Add a cherry bead to the end of one wire. Bend the end of the wire over, close to the bead. Then, coil the wire around itself several times, until it forms a little ball larger than the hole. Snip off the excess wire and use pliers to pinch the ball tightly. Add the second cherry bead in the same way. Repeat these steps for the second earring. You can use pliers to tighten the twists you made earlier. Bakelite was a type of plastic that was popular in jewelry in the 30s and 40s. It's highly collectible today. You can imitate that style by using decorative plastic rags, like these ones made by American Crafts. Use scissors to cut the prongs off the back of the brad. Then add the brads to earring posts with hot glue. Finally, cloth covered button earrings can add a feminine touch to your outfit. Use a button covering kit and fabric with a vintage era print to make classic earrings in minutes. Button covering kits can be found in the Sewing Notions section of any store that sells fabric, and they come in various sizes. Use your pliers to remove the button shank before hot gluing. Special thanks to my sponsor, favecrafts.com. For more project ideas and tutorials, visit www.
madebymarzipan.com.